Hi, this is Digital Stereo Guitar. We're looking at a church worship uh, sound setup. Okay, so we're gonna look at the speaker setup itself. So we're looking at front of house and your, your patch paneling and running cables, etc. We're also gonna go over instruments. So the guitar, the drums, the bass, keyboards, etc. Vocals, um, our foldbacks, our any monitoring, etc and how to sort of set everything up and the way that we position things, etc. So I hope you find this video helpful and it gives you some tips and help to improve your church uh, band and your worship. So most contemporary type of uh, worship songs in your church, you're gonna be having an electric guitar running into an amplifier and that generally may be mic'd up. It may not be mic'd up depending on the size of your room. So in our case, we've got it mic'd up. We've got it running into a Fender amp and we've got a fairly simple setup on the top, okay? Because it is being plugged in through a FX pedal board, so it's mainly been done through there. So this is a Fender Telecaster running into a Fender amp. As you can see, we've got the microphone is, is a single directional microphone running just off the center of the speaker in the amp, okay? not right on the amp, or not right on against the speaker or against the amp, slightly to the left or slightly to the right, we find gives us our best tone for this particular setup, okay? Now the amp itself runs through a pedal board, so the guitar runs into a pedal board. Pedal board has a whole bunch of features. It's gonna create a different tone, different sounds, different effects for your overall sound. So we've got some distortions, we've got some delays, uh, we've got compressors, we've got octave generators, we've got a tuner, we've got volume pedals, etc., etc. So this is going to be customized to what your sound needs to be in your church service. Okay, so this is what we currently use for one of our guitarists, and we find that it fits really, really well with what we need. We've got a second pedal board here. This is running an acoustic and an electric into the board, as well as the microphone. Okay, so the mic is getting some effects put into it, running through to a DI for the acoustic there, and a number of different pedals. So again, we got our whammy pedals, we got some delays, some distortions. Uh, we got like a, a modulator for your voice, and it creates some really nice tones for your guitar, for electric and acoustic that run through the board itself. Uh, and you'll see that this comes out. Uh, we've got a microphone that's running in, and then into the, uh, into the two guitars there. So we've got the electric and the acoustic guitar running through the pedal board, and the mic as well. So that in turn runs into a Fender amp, mic'd up as well, running into the switchboard at the back. So we've got the bass pedal board here. So we've got a bass guitar running into the side of a board here and then out into a speaker. So we've got a few different pedals here depending on what your setup and what your mix is required. A lot of basses don't use pedals, but we like to. So we've got some tuners, we've got some distortions, um, we've got you know noise suppressor to block noise and that in turn runs out to a bass head and into a speaker cabinet, okay? Now you can run directly through a DI out into, you know, into your front of house, into your foldback desk, for example. But we're running it so that we can actually hear it. We've got a bit more feeling uh, on the stage there as well. So that is running into the bass head, input out of the, um, out of the pedal board into the um, speaker cabinet itself, okay? So if we look at the back of the unit, you will see that we've got the power, okay? That is running into the, uh, into the head itself. We've got a speaker out that is running into the head, okay? And then we've got the line out, which is running into the, the back patch panel, which in turn runs into the front of our speaker. Okay, so that is a basic base setup for your church. So the keyboard in a lot of churches is an essential instrument. Um, you'll either have a piano, a, a organ sort of a sound, or a, or a keyboard in, the, in this case. So the, the keyboard that we're using can do the organ, can do like piano type of sounds, number of different effects, big diversity, and can do everything that we sort of need. So we've got the power going in, we've got the foot switch going in, so you can do your sustains, etc., And we've got the output coming out from the back of the keyboard that runs into the back of the switch box. So playing this um, will just create that beautiful ambience that you have in a lot of contemporary type of Christian uh, worship music, uh, essential for a lot of bands. You can substitute it with an acoustic guitar, but in our case, we're using a keyboard as well because it just creates a really, really nice sound and a lot of songs do require it. 
So this is our drum kit setup. Uh, we've got the setup as standard. You've got our kick, our snare, our toms, etc. And we actually choose to mic our kit up. Now, a lot of churches will not mic it up because it's more than enough, you know, the, the noise that comes out of it already. But we're gonna mic it up. We've got, we got the snare there, microphone for the snare. We've got microphones for the toms as well. We've got some overhead microphones that can pick up the cymbals at the top as well, all right? They're gonna create a really nice balance of the mix. We can go and control it a little bit further from the front of house desk as well. You can also have your electric drum kit if you choose to have one of those in your church uh, and you can control that even more. But in our case, we're gonna mic it up. We've got a mic there for the kick. Depending on who's playing, depending on what kick we have, we either choose it to put inside the kick or on a stand outside the kick as well. So that is our drum setup and uh, mix. So there are also some miscellaneous items. So we've got an accordion, uh, we've got a cello, we've got a whole bunch of other things. We've got like a banjo. Uh, these are all running into separate DIs into the back of the, uh, of the switch box at the back and into the front of house. Um, so we've got um, a number of different items, different instruments that uh, some guys use in our team um, to sort of create a unique sort of sound from what we're after. So, okay, so we've got the DIs running into the back. We've got a banjo, all right, with a uh, sort of like a little microphone pickup thing that's running into it. Um, we've also got, what else have we got? We've got a, an accordion. Uh, which is mic, which we've got a mic attached to it. We've got a cello, which is again got a slight, like a pickup attached to it as well. Create a nice, uh, I guess more of an ambient sort of a sound, which is great. And then we've got a micro corg as well, um, which is nice to add some nice funky sort of sounds. So on top of a existing keyboard, uh, this just creates a nice little something extra um, that's running out again through a DI and into the back of the sound desk. So we got all our equipment plugging in to a patch panel down the back. So this is controlling every single instrument, uh, all of the, the speakers, um, the, um, the, the, the microphones for the singers, for the, the band, for the drums, the microphone for the guitar, the DIs, etc. all run into the back of this board. All right, we've got channels one to two, one to three, four, five, etc., And then we've got the outputs for the speakers as well. Okay, so this is running all from here. And then this in then turn will run a massive sort of like a snake cable um, running into the actual front of house um, system. And we've got like a digital front of house and that controls all of the levels, volumes up and down, etc., etc. We've got some powers in here. This is in turn powering a massive power board, which a whole heap of instruments are all plugging into. This is all a regulated power board so that we're not gonna blow the system by running too much stuff into it. Okay, so that is a basic setup behind the stage and that in turn runs out to the front of house speakers. So we've got our front of house speaker set, one on either side, subwoofer, followed by three speaker cabinets on the top there as well, all right? So the subwoofer will obviously be used for your low end, for your bottom end, for your, for your bass uh, sort of the sounds. Uh, with the speakers complementing that for your higher treble, etc., and that all works in unison, uh, daisy chained. We've got them on wheels, so it's easy to move. On the back, you can see the speakers are all individually powered on, and they are daisy chained uh, from one speaker to the other. Uh, and then we've got the subwoofer down the bottom uh, that is also powered and is running um, uh, our audio going in. So all of this is rigged into the back of our stage, into the stage box, and in turn, uh, it's controlled, your levels are controlled from the front of house sound desk as well. So this is the front of house desk, okay? So a lot of people will have a front of house and a fallback, depending on what you have. In our case, we can control everything without issue from this desk. So our fallback monitoring, our in-ears, uh, and the actual mix coming out of your front of house for your speakers, um, for your you know for your instruments and for your microphones and your singers. So picking your desk is something that's pretty important. Um, it's going to control everything that you have. Number of inputs going in. Um, so de depending on how many instruments or how many singers you have in your team, you'll pick a desk that is relevant to the amount of inputs that you need. So this is including your preacher mics, your service leaders, etc. As well. Desk. Got all the inputs, so we're all running our in ears, right? Wireless in ears going into each set. 
and then the wireless mics as well. So the preacher mic, the worship leader mic, service handheld, singers, etc. Right. And then the actual ears themselves. So churches will either have your fallback monitoring all right, on the front of the stage. In our case, we've got any monitoring. So we're using Sennheiser monitoring with Shure headphones. So they plug into your any little pack there that is wireless, it's got a receiver as we saw before, plugs into the back of your pocket for example or on your belt and lets you get all your mix in your ears. So you can actually customize this to your particular mix as opposed to Foldax which has everything. And if we look at it, it's just got your standard volume, we've got your phone point there where you plug in your actual headphones. So great little tip uh, is if you've got the budget, I'd highly recommend to go for any monitoring. Otherwise, fallbacks generally do the trick, but in-ears are gonna give you a lot more versatility and a lot more um, uh, dimension to your sound. So the great thing about using the wireless in-ear and the set that we've got with our digital desk is we've actually got an iPhone app where we can customize what we want. So you can put things up and down, and this is customized exactly for what you need in your in-ears, which is great. So you've got all the drums, you've got the bass, you've got the kick, uh, you've got everything sort of you need and you can adjust it to what you want in your in-ears All right, so you can just set your main instrument on here. All right so If you want drums keyboards, etc. That's going to be what's going to come into your in -ear pack So each pack is labeled individually each in -ear monitoring pack and then yeah You just tilt your phone and you can then go and customize it to how you want it. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel Digital Stereo Guitar for a whole bunch of more videos. Thanks for watching.